Good morning and welcome to Fresh Fishing. Welcome to the retirement sessions. And uh, today you join me at Poppleton Lakes on the outskirts of York uh, on the A59 uh, on the northwestern side of York it is. It takes me about three quarters of an hour from home and that's where I am today. I got here at about 8.30, spoke to the guy, showed me where things were, used the toilet and uh, I then decided to get a uh, bivy set up first because I knew there was a rain shower on its way and uh, I'm in the uh, sort of middle of that now. I haven't got my rods in yet, I'm just about to put them in so I thought I'd, um, I'd do uh, the introduction first and then get the rods in and then I'll brief you on what and where I'm fishing. Yeah, Pop Poppleton uh, Lakes, there's, uh, there's, there's four or five lakes here and uh, I'm on this specimen, specimen pond lake um, it's probably about two, two and a half acres. Um, there's nobody else here at the moment, so I've got, uh, I've got the lake to myself. I'm fishing just on the edge of the uh, out of bounds area, and uh, I've got the whole lake to myself. So uh, if nobody else comes, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to put, uh, I'm going to put uh, baits and rigs out, uh, out quite far and wide. Yeah, so there we are. Um, it's been a while since. Uh, since I've been out on retirement sessions. I was due to come on uh, on the social, as you're probably all aware, but due to uh, family bereavement, um, had to attend a funeral in Germany. So uh, that kiboshed that one. So I haven't been out uh, since, I think sort of, it must have been late August. Yeah, late August. So uh, it's my first session for a while. I thought I'd give Poppleton Lakes a try. By coincidence, the guys were here um, a couple of weeks back um, and uh, that uh, vlog will be on uh, on the channel shortly and this one of course will will follow it uh, after a couple of weeks um, yeah it's the uh, 26th of uh, September today that, that I'm fishing and as I say I've, I've got 24 hours on here I'm okay till about half eight nine o'clock in the morning so uh, I'll probably get up at about 6.30. Due, due to the earliness of getting off, I'm not gonna worry about breakfast or anything. Have a brew, uh, pack down, and be off by 8.30. Um, and then I'll, I'll get breakfast on, on the way home at McDonald's or somewhere. So yeah, Poppleton Lakes, outskirts of York, retirement sessions, first one for a while. Uh, I'll talk to you soon. First rig I've put out is a mega method feeder and I've just got a bug wafter on that with bug pellet. Um, you've all seen one of them before, so uh, I'll show you that in a moment. Um, this rig is just a lead clip with a blowback rig, and uh, I've got a hard hooker um, bug boily with a uh, sort of a third of a pop-up just to, to lift it off the bottom, snowman, snowman sort of style. And uh, I'm gonna put that uh, to the right of me, nearest island, just off the edge of the uh, out of bounds area under the bush there, and we'll see how that goes. So that's right hand rod and uh, um, and the rig. Okay, third rig, which is gonna go on my left hand rod, is uh, lead clip as you can see. And uh, again, it's just a blowback rig, and I'm going for double popped up plastic sweet corn on this. Um, looking at the rules on the board, um, what I've read, um, there's no ban on plastic bait, so uh, I thought I'd give uh, double sweet corn a try. I've got a can of sweet corn with me as well. I might put, mix that in with, uh, with the free offerings uh, later on. We'll see how we go. So I'm gonna get this rod out now, and then I'll tell you, uh, uh, I'll describe to you where I'm actually uh, fishing uh, all these particular rigs. Okay, first fish. Uh, rods have been in for about 45 minutes and I picked this one up on the uh, snowman rig to the right of the out bounds area. I haven't showed you where the rigs are yet but uh, I will do in a moment. And I've got another take now. Um, this one's about, I don't know, five or six pounds. I'll get that one back and I'll have to uh, sort the other one out. Okay, this uh, this is another mirror. The last one was a mirror, as I say, five, six pounds. This one's on the Mega Method feeder, and this is definitely a double. Um, looking at it, it's probably 10, 
11, 12 pounds, something like that. Um, I don't think it's worth getting the sling out yet, but uh, I'll get it out and show you. Right, that second take was on the method feeder with a wafter and uh, the one I showed you in the net, of course. And it's a bit longer than, uh, than I thought first. So um, I did get the sling out and weigh it and it's 17, 17 pounds and 10 ounces. So lovely, lovely mirror, quite long, as I say, 17, 17, 10. Won't behave now, it's had a, a bit of time to recover. See if I can uh, get him to behave and hold him up once more. Yeah, 17 pounds, 10 ounces. Boppleton scaly mirror, nice light color. Um, so that's two fish in the first hour. That's uh, that's cracking on a bit, I think. Um, the lads did challenge me to come here and said it, it could be mad when it goes uh, when it goes like that. So uh, let's see how it goes. I'll uh, I'll get this one back in. 17 pounds, 10 ounces. Right, I haven't had a chance to show you uh, setup, etc. Um, yeah, there we are. The white signs there and the uh, end of this island to the right of that is all out of bounds so um, I'm fishing my right hand rod just under that tree there on on the right hand island um, my center rod which I uh, picked up that 17 on um, under that tree there and I've got the mega method feeder on wafter there and then the left hand rod is this side of uh, of the uh, of the left hand island on on the lake and uh, it's probably two to three feet off uh, off the island so that's where i've got my rods um and i showed you my rigs um this is a setup there's no uh, specific pegs it's just a uh, a grassed area and i'm set up uh, as you can see there I just managed, yeah, I managed to get set up before the rain came actually. And uh, it's due to uh, to knock it on the head about 12-ish and then it should be fine from then. So uh, um, here's hoping that the weather can improve. Um, but uh, no complaints so far with a 17 and uh, sort of five, six pound mirror. Um, it's uh, It's looking good. What I'm going to do now is, uh, I haven't had a chance to get those two rods back out uh, there. What I'm having to do is, as soon as I get the fish out, I'm putting my net back together. I don't have a spare net. I'm putting my net back together so that uh, just in case I get a take while, uh, while I'm dealing with the fish. So there we go. Two fish so far and it's... Uh, five past 11 so i've been at it just over an hour because i've got my rods in about 10 o'clock ish right it's uh, it's half 11 um i just got uh, got my rods back in and uh, everything's reset um i told you where everything is um back in uh, the same positions probably a little bit more info about poppleton lakes as i say it's on the outskirts of york 25 pounds for 24 hours you have to book in advance you have to phone the guy up and uh and book and then um it's normally seven till seven but he will give you a bit of bit of leeway um i said look i'm traveling from richmond 45 minutes can i start at eight and i got here at 8 30 so he said he said yeah no problems 24 hours from then um so i suppose you could get nine till nine um if uh, if you were coming from uh from a fair way um fish wise there's clearly quite a quite a few fish in here they do run to 30 pounds um i've heard of somebody uh from uh one of the subscribers uh, um getting a 30 out of here back uh back in the spring i think it was and uh, there's, there's clearly lots of 20s and uh lots of upper doubles and some smaller stuff of course so uh i'm hoping it'll be a uh 
a good session and with the evidence of the first hour you know a take and then a take while I had uh, a fish in uh, in the cradle I had to abandon things and uh, put the net back together um, in fact no I I uh, I picked the rod up got the fish away from uh, from the island so it didn't go around the back of the island into open water and then I had to put the rod down and put the net back together um, but it all paid off in the end and uh, we got the 17 uh, in in the net as it were so it's a great start let's uh, let's hope we carry on uh, from here on in the weather has uh, has started to sort itself out now and the rain uh, has stopped so uh, I'm hoping that I'm gonna have a clear spell now through until uh, tomorrow when it's due to get sort of wet and windy at about 12 o'clock so hopefully I'll uh, I'll be able to uh, to pack up um, in the dry or dryish as it were although packing up at sort of eight seven o'clock seven thirty in the morning will uh, inevitably there'll be a bit of condensation on the bivy etc <laughs> and I'm now getting getting dropped on by the rain that's on the trees so I'm, I'm hoping to talk to you later with uh, more fish on the bank Right, it's just coming up to uh, just after 10 to 1 actually, 5 to 1 now. After that initial surge of a mad first hour, um, things have calmed down a bit and the last hour and a bit have, uh, have been quieter, which, which around midday I suppose is, uh, is normal. It sort of quietens down around that, uh, that time on most uh, venues. I've moved my left hand rod away from the, the far island and uh, just to the left of my swim actually there's a lily pad and uh, there's been a bit of movement around there so I've pre-baited it for about half an hour or so some boily in there some sweet corn and now I've got uh, I've got my left hand rod in there um, so we'll see if that produces anything that's on the plastic sweet corn I may change that up to a wafter or a, uh, a snowman rig later on let's uh, let's see if it produces so yeah, that's, uh, that's a quick update at uh, almost coming up to one o'clock. Just the two that I had in the first hour at the moment. Time for a cup of coffee now, I think. Uh, I've been here for uh, a couple of hours without a brew. So I thought I'd have a, uh, a cappuccino, an apple and a biscuit for, uh, for a light lunch. So I'm just waiting for the kettle to boil. And the sun's coming out now, so the weather is sorting itself out as well. So things are looking up. Well, there we go, three o'clock, and I've just, uh, unfortunately, picked a bream up um, probably two pound I don't know um, I've unhooked it anyway I shall get it back now right it's uh, just on four o'clock and uh, I've had a right half an hour lost two fish um, but I've just picked up a small mirror probably I don't know Four or five pounds I lost two fish my right hand rod screamed off the one I just caught this one on and uh, I picked the rod up and uh, tried to get the fish under control it really screamed off and um, unfortunately it snapped so uh, I lost that one but while I was setting that rod back up my center rod went I got that under control into open water and uh, and then I just lost it. Barbless hooks, of course, um, that can happen. So yeah, so I've had quite a eventful half hour 
after a, uh, a period where from half past one um, through to half past three, nothing, nothing at all apart from that bream. Um, I tried a, uh, I tried a, uh, a couple of other spots, etc. But uh, they just seem to be cruising around and not playing. Um, but now they seem to have uh, woken up and got the heads down again. So I'll get this one back in and get that rod reset. Hi there, right, it's uh, 6.30. Um, I've just had dinner. Apologies for not, uh, for not showing you what dinner was, but uh, it was really windy in the last sort of hour and uh, keeping it warm in the, in the high wind was uh, extremely difficult. So I didn't really have time to, uh, to put it down once I got it on the plate. Um, I was charging the battery up on the camera anyway. It would have taken me a couple of minutes to, uh, to do all that and then uh, I would have lost you know, two minutes of heat from my dinner. So uh, I decided to, uh, to scrub around that. And uh, what I had was a pork chop, a uh, potatoes and vegetables. And I'm just having a, a can of cider to wash it down. It was a very thick pork chop and um, it was cooked okay. But I think uh, for future reference, I'll, um, I'll go for uh, a thinner, thinner type of meat um, than a really sort of chunky pork chop because uh, it, it is difficult to cook it you, even using the ridge, uh, the ridge monkey pan. But it was really tasty, I enjoyed it and uh, I kept the rod out that I, um, that I caught on last because that seems to be the spot that's producing the most to give me a bit of peace while I was uh, sorting dinner out and what I'm going to do is get that rod back in now and uh, redo the others. Right, bang on seven o'clock and uh, the right hand rod again, snowman rig, just off the island has gone and I think uh, a lovely little, uh, lovely little mirror, which is probably, I don't know, eight, nine pounds, um, maybe 10, it's quite thick. Um, nice little fish again, seem to be a lot in that area. I just like a bigger, a bigger fish, but uh, beggars can't be choosers, as it were. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's another one. Um, that's up to five now, and uh, could be a busy night. Hopefully, see how we go. I'll get this one back. Good evening, everybody. Right, it's uh, almost twenty to eight now, and uh, it's just sort of getting dark. Sun sunset was about uh, five to seven and uh, it's been getting gradually dark since then and uh, it's not far off now. I think by eight o'clock it'll be pitch black. So uh, I've, I reset the rods after I caught that last one. They're back in, in uh, the centre rods in the same area. The right hand rod is obviously in the same area. The left hand rod I've put to the left hand end of the island. Uh, see if that uh, that brings anything over there. Um, the center island, I mean, where, uh, where I caught the 17 pounder uh, this morning. So yeah, it's really night routine now. Um, I'm sat in the bivvy. I'm gonna read my book. I've got, I've got a couple of films to watch if I, if I uh, feel that way inclined, but hopefully I'll be jumping in and out uh, for the odd fish. So we'll see how we go um, overnight. Hopefully I'll be uh, talking to you during the night if not well yeah um it's just half past one and uh i had a roach that was about three pounds before i didn't uh, didn't bother filming that and uh and then i've been woke up by this mirror which is probably 10 pounds I'd say it's uh, it's definitely a double um, it's quite a thick one as well and uh, that was on a mega method feeder in open water and uh, it was a very slow bite beep beep not a run at all it was a weird sort of bite really and I thought it might be a small fish a roach or whatever so I thought I'll come out pick it up and uh, 
and there it is. So that's uh, mirror number six. Oh, yeah, mirror number five, and a common is six. I'll get this back in. Right, it's uh, quarter past four, and at four o'clock I had a double take. I've got a small common and a large common in the net. The large common is definitely a 20, I'd say. The small common is probably five, four or five pounds, there, there it is. Um, I'm gonna get that back in so I can sort the other one out, weigh it and show you that one. So yeah, that's the first small common um, and then I'll, I'll weigh the other one and show you that one. Right, yeah, this common, I've just weighed it and it's 2303. So it's a new PB for me. And there he is, 23 pounds, zero three. 23 pounds, three ounces. Um, mega method feeder, center rod, under the, uh, just to the right of the, uh, of the island. And uh, I had the other one in the net when this one, uh, when this one took, uh, took the bait. So it was a bit of a, I've got three rods all wiped out at the moment. I'm gonna have to sort those out once I get this back in. Right, yeah, PB2303. Great stuff, I'll get this back in. Yeah, just a quick correction there. That, uh, that common, the 2303, uh, was on the right hand rod, which was on, uh, on the uh, blowback and uh, snowman setup. So uh, yeah, the mega method feeder was the, uh, the smaller fish that I caught first. Right, I've got uh, two more rods to sort out now and then I can uh, get back, uh, get them back in and uh, get an hour's, uh, an hour or two's rest. Great stuff. Good morning all, coffee time. It's uh, 20 to seven. Make the coffee and then I'll, uh, I'll say good morning. Morning all. <clears throat> well, what, what a night that was. Between about eight, eight o'clock and one o'clock, it was really quiet. And uh, I managed to get a bit of rest, as, as much as you can get with, with the road behind me, which is uh, fairly loud, pretty constantly. And then from half past one, I had the ropes that was about three pounds, which, which I didn't film, of course. And then after that, I had uh, quite an eventful couple of hours from, uh, I reset the rods at about quarter to three using the lights on the boat. And after that, I had an eventful sort of hour then. Yeah, I mean, I had the, uh, the 19 um, and then couple of small ones in between and uh, and of course then then finally the uh, the, the new PB 23 is uh, zero three so uh, a great night not very much rest but uh, I'm not particularly worried about that so uh, yeah what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, start packing down slowly from 7:15 ish um, I have to be off for 8.30, <clears throat> but the guy said 8.30ish, so not too much of a problem. And uh, you never know, I might pick one up in the last uh, last hour and a half. You, you never know, hour and three quarters. We can only help. Right, it's uh, quarter to nine. I'm all packed up, cars all packed. A successful <coughs> first session on uh, Poppleton Lakes. 24 hours, I had nine fish. I lost four, and uh, within that total of nine, there were one or two low doubles. There was a 17, a 19, and of course, the common, which was my new PB of uh, 23 pounds and uh, three ounces. So yeah, it was a, a good session, great session. And uh, didn't get much sleep though. The um, the activity after sort of 1.30 and the road, um, as it got started getting um, early morning, just kept me awake. So uh, 
I just did things and uh, didn't worry about sleeping. I'll get some sleep later. So there we go. Good session. The next, the next time I'll be out, I don't know at the moment, probably, possibly next week, maybe the week after, um, I'll do a, uh, a 24 somewhere. So that's me for now uh, on the retirement sessions. Um, I've enjoyed it. I hope you have. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you don't already, hit that subscribe button and click the alarm bell to get notifications.